wonderful relationship is about two things. First, admiring the similarities and second, respecting the dissimilarities. Most mental disorders are either triggered or worsened by the anxiety of excessive thinking. We all have unconscious biases, which are thoughts and attitudes that we hold about specific groups of people. These biases can influence our thoughts, feelings and behavior towards others. The biggest mistake is thinking about somebody who doesn't care about you. Our inner voice is difficult to hear in a noisy world, but it can support us find the truth. Nothing breaks more than trying your absolute best, but still not being fair enough. The most unexplainable secrets of the cosmos are not hidden in the sky, but in the maze of our own beliefs. Fear is a double-edged sword. It can be the barrier that contains us or the motivation that propels us beyond our limits. People with increased levels of testosterone get satisfaction from the anger of others. Love and hate are two sides of the same coin. Both have the power to shape destinies and kindle revolutions. People are more likely to admit to a crime they did not execute under pressure or stress. The serial position effect can make you recognize the first and last items in a list better than the central ones. When the final act of life's drama is over and the curtains have closed, regrets are the dreadful specters that stay on the stage. The best way to admire somebody is to picture your life without them. The framing effect can make you respond differently to the same input, depending on how it is presented. The eyes are not just windows to the soul, but also mirrors that echo the tales of our journey. The order in which we are born can affect our character. Firstborns are often more reliable and independent, while laterborns are often more sociable and outgoing. The more you attempt to forget something, the more likely you are to recognize it. When a girl likes a boy, she'll look out when you make eye contact. There is a psychological disorder called Cotard syndrome, in which somebody feels like they are decomposing or dead. They may also reject the existence of their body parts or their own identity.